All right, in today's episode, I'm gonna walk you through three big hurdles that you face when trying to get a job at an insurance company. Are you looking for an IA firm where you're not just another number? Let me tell you about our sponsor, CCMS and Associates. CCMS has been called a big mom and pop firm because they care about their adjusters. They also care about results. The CCMS family is dedicated to training and developing a talented adjusting team. If you would like to be a part of their family, email your resume and cover letter and introduce yourself directly to careers at ccmsclaims.com. Hey IAs, it's Chris Stanley of IA Path. You know how most new adjusters cannot break into the industry? They struggle because companies have two to five years worth of experience as a requirement. And how can they get that experience? But don't worry, at iPath, we get that experience waived with our 90-day online mentorship program. If you're interested, head over to iPath.com. Whether you're an independent adjuster looking to make a transition to working at an insurance company, or you're a new adjuster trying to find your way into the industry, working at an insurance company can be a great way to have stable income and an opportunity at an entry-level job. But no matter who you are or why you want to get a job at an insurance company, there's some major hurdles to get through and things that you face that you can't just bullcrap your way through if you don't know what's going on and how they work. Now, I want to caution you, don't get freaked out that there are hurdles to get into the industry. This is a great industry to get into. It's going to be around forever, according to experts, but you got to understand what value you bring. Before we get to the hurdles, realize that no matter what background you're coming from, there are things that make you valuable to this industry. And it's kind of up to you to figure out what value you bring because those things are what's gonna help you get over these hurdles we're gonna be talking about. Now, the first hurdle you're gonna face when you try to get a job at an insurance company is something called the ATS, the Applicant Tracking System. Now, if you think about an applicant tracking system, it's a little bit like Google. Let me explain. You submit your resume to an insurance company and the ATS system slices up your resume, looks at all the words and tries to determine if you're a good match. The same way Google looks at your search for a website and tries to determine what website you're looking for. This system is presenting the best candidates that it believes is a good match for a job that the insurance company has posted. It is the gatekeeper. It's a computer. It's not even a person. So when you talk about trying to get through a gatekeeper to get a job, the first level of gatekeeper is an ATS. Now there's some ways you can beat the ATS system, but one of the best tips I can give you is if you look at a job posting, see the words that they use to describe the job. Do they use reviewing policy and guidelines? Do they use communication? How do they talk about the jobs responsibilities that you'll have to do. Now you need to craft your resume you're submitting to the ATS to include some of those key words. Remember, we're trying to be a good match for the job. You're probably not going to be a perfect match, but the first gatekeeper, all they're looking to do is throw away people. On average, 250 people apply for every single job. They're looking to interview eight to 10. So the system is designed to throw away the obviously not qualified or not matching candidates with resumes that don't match up to what they're looking for out. So the second obstacle you have to overcome can take a look at your resume. As insurance adjusters, we need to be covered by insurance. We're writing estimates, climbing ladders, walking on roofs, and mistakes can happen. What are you going to do when something goes wrong? Kaplicit. CPLIC, or Kaplic for short, is an insurance company for independent adjusters, formed by independent adjusters. They understand our job and the potential problems 
that can arise. If you want help understanding what coverages you need as an independent adjuster, head over to cplic.net slash adjuster TV for a free download that will explain the common types of insurance for adjusters. Now, the second obstacle is an actual person. It's somebody usually inside of HR. So these are the people who are looking going, hmm, ATS presented this person to me, but do they actually meet our requirements? Does their background look like what we want in a candidate? And guess what? They're gonna look at your resume for probably six seconds. Six seconds, you heard that right. How can somebody look at a resume for six seconds and make a determination whether you're a good fit for the job? Well, they're looking to see if you're using the same terms they're looking for, if you have a solid work history that's consistent, if you look professional, if your grammar, spelling, and resume looks clean. These kinds of mistakes will ruin any chance you had of getting through the obstacle of HR. So the first obstacle was the applicant tracking system. We can beat that by using keywords. But the second obstacle is actually a human being looking to see how you present yourself in a resume. So what we really got to focus on there is making sure it's a clean resume to get through that obstacle. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love writing along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Myself and a growing list of industry experts will show you how to handle claims with confidence. We know it's hard to find a working adjuster who's going to let you shadow them, which is why we let you write along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Check it out for seven days absolutely free at ipath.com slash TV. The third and final hurdle to getting an interview and potentially a job is to get through a hiring manager. Now the hiring manager has a little bit different role than HR. They really don't care if you have the education requirements. What they care about is you as a human being. So this might be the hardest thing to fake because you probably can't fake it. Okay, you might be able to use the right keywords, you might be able to say all the right things on a resume, but when you get in front of a hiring manager or they look at your resume, they have very specific and custom wants and needs. What they're looking for is not someone who meets requirements, they're looking for someone to make their job easier. So, are you a good fit? I don't know. They're looking for somebody quiet, reserved, or they're looking for somebody who's a go-getter? Are they looking for somebody who has lots of charisma and personality, or they're looking for a yes sir kind of person. So the hiring manager is very subjective and it changes from job to job and role to role. So the three obstacles, ATS, applicant tracking system. The only way to beat it is with keywords. HR is the second obstacle and the only way to get through that is to meet the requirements that they're looking for. And the third and final obstacle is the hiring manager who often does the interview. What they're looking for is, is this person gonna make my job easier? They're more looking for personality and the way that you present yourself in your career and in your life. Your summary has a lot to do with whether the hiring manager actually wants to interview you. So each one of these obstacles that you face to getting an interview has very different needs, desires, and ways to get through them. If you're trying to get a job at an insurance company or trying to find a way to get the attention of somebody at an IA firm, and it seems like your resume just isn't cutting it, you should totally check out a book John Bachman and I wrote called The Adjuster's Resume Playbook. We also wrote a book called The Insurance Adjuster's Playbook that walks you through step-by-step -step how to get a job at an insurance company start to finish. You can find them both on Amazon or at iPath.com slash books. My name is Chris Stanley and we at iPath are dedicated to giving you actionable advice on how to have an amazing adjusting career that will help you break into the insurance industry so you can obtain freedom in your career and life. If you need help learning how to get work, head over to iPath.com and click the how to find work button. We'll send you a free video course that shares insider tips on how to get started. And until next week,
keep walking your path and claiming your life.